Have you ever had that feeling when walking out the door on a trip? I think I forgot something. Always. We all have. Packing a diaper bag is important, but it can be overwhelming. We're here to break it down for you in three easy steps. You may think throwing a few diapers in a purse is going to cut it. Sorry guys, think again. When you're on the plane, the last thing you want to do is have to search through your purse, crammed under a seat, searching for a diaper because your baby's blowing out of their diaper. That's Natalie's specialty. We're going to actually make it super easy for you, so all you have to do is grab and go. It's a teeny tiny Ziploc case with all of your diaper essentials, so you are not in that position. It's not about glamour, it's about essentials. We're going to show you exactly what goes in your grab and go diaper kit. Enough diapers, wipes, an extra Ziploc, a change pad, diaper rash cream, and an extra pair of clothing. Mom tip alert, bring this with you when you go back to change your baby because there is nothing worse than getting back there and having to walk back to your seat with a naked soiled baby. Comfort items are the things that you're gonna need in the throes of a tantrum or just to soothe a tired baby. And Lord knows we've been through our fair share of tantrums. It's so important that you put them in a place all together and you know where that is so you can easily access it during the nightmare. Guys, great news. Snacks can really go a long way. They can double as mealtime and as an activity. When kids are kind of getting antsy, pulling out new snacks is something that they can get excited about and kind of something they can do. You can also let them choose a snack so they have a little bit of fun with it. Our general overall tip here, stay away from anything that squishes, is messy, that melts like chocolate, and just stick with things that they can grab and are kind of going to be filling for them, i.e. like a squeezy pack with a whole bunch of yogurt and quinoa and fruits and vegetables. You'll have to tailor it to your kid. A lollipop can go a long way in the last 20 minutes of your flight when you're descending. It takes them just about that long to get through it. For moms and dads who are still bottle feeding, listen up. You A, want to make sure that you have pre-measured formula and extra bottles. You never know how long your flight's going to be. You have to take into account delays and other such snafus that will come in on your trip. They'll also allow you to bring your own distilled water if you have a baby through security. Hopefully we've eased your mind with the above simple, easy tips and tricks. The key is don't overpack and stay organized. Happy packing.